Hello and welcome. My name is Autumn Beckman and welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. I was trying to do 21. Did that work? Probably not. Very exciting episode for you today. We are back in Oregon. We're in Portland this time and I am taking you your favorite place luxury shopping. We're going to Pioneer Place where they have all kinds of wonderful things and I'll show you not just the sights around town there on those few blocks from my hotel to the shopping but also some of the bags and other items that are in stores right now. And I was really excited when I was filming this because it was my first time there ever and I was excited to take you guys with me and have you share in that. So I do hope you enjoy it. Before we get there, yesterday I showed you this desk agenda from Poi and Hun, and I mentioned that I plan to put my A5 size Erin Condren lay flat soft bound notebooks in there and I just wanted to show you what that looks like. I should have done this yesterday but didn't really think to. They are kind of small in there. They're smaller than I thought. There's a lot of space around the top and more in the middle. I mean they fit it still works fine but they don't fill it out as much as I thought they would. So I grabbed my Erin Condren A5 size coil bound planner and I wanted to see how this fits in here because Boy and Hun, what they do with all their planner supplies on the website is they sell disc bound agendas. And I don't have a disc bound in this size, but maybe the coil could give you a better idea of how that fills it out. Oh, and I think it does. Yeah, that looks nice. So you could definitely put one of those in there. Their discs are bigger and it'll tell you on the website how big that would fit. And there's the coil bound with the A5 notebook just to give you a better idea, give you a little comparison of those sizes. And if I close that up, you can see how much deeper the coil bound goes in to the desk agenda and fills it out better. So in case you're interested in these, I just wanted those people to know about that. And now we'll move on right into the luxury shopping in Portland. Hope you enjoy. Woke up here in Portland this morning. We're staying at the AC Hotel by Marriott, which is very strategically located a mere two blocks from Louis Vuitton. So we are headed that way. We're also making a stop at Chanel. Okay, so there's the hotel. I'm gonna do a quick spin. Don't get dizzy, don't do it. And right here is the start of Pioneer Place, which based on the maps I've seen is a few blocks. Um, of shopping and the Louis Vuitton is in the next building. Dear Lord, I found a Tiffany. They have a beautiful tree with all the beautiful blue boxes underneath it. Oh, wouldn't you like to have that every year? Folks, I've found it. There's a Gucci behind the lamppost and the Louis Vuitton. However, we are heading another couple of blocks over to the Nordstrom for the Chanel. Check out this courthouse I found along the way. It's beautiful and all the lovely trees very Pacific Northwest. It's so pretty. It's beautiful. I found Nordstrom and I found Chanel. These are so cute. They're tiny little bags. Looks like they have chain straps. here. There's this little square between Nordstrom and the courthouse, which is right over there. I guess it's backlit and hard to see. I've been trying to film it from different angles and it's just not coming out. 
but there's a giant Christmas tree here that's lit up. I think you can see that a little bit. And the park reminds me a lot of a cross between like Bryant Park in New York and Jones Plaza in Houston, if anyone's familiar with that. Here's a better view of the square and the Christmas tree. And here's a much better shot of the giant Christmas tree for you. And from the tree, you can see right across the street, the back of the courthouse. Such a pretty building, I love it. Also, if you need instructions on where to go, it's right there. Walking around in this chilly air with the plants and their colors, the downtown thing, it reminds me so much of New York that it doesn't smell like pee. It's so pretty and I'm loving it. Now the shopping here does not compare to the Houston Galleria. That's one of the things I would be giving up moving up here, but I'd be gaining so many other things that are so much more important. Also, here's a better view of the Nordstrom. So you can see the actual name on it and all the trees. It's so pretty, everything's so pretty here. And there's a wine bar with a dog as their logo. Dogs are a very big thing here. My dogs are going to love it. And all these little fountains that I guess are turned off for the winter. Look at all these. Seems like all of them or many of them have these animal sculptures and they're so cool. I've not seen anything quite like that before. Little baby bears, more ducks, and another duck and some deer that aren't even in the fountain. They were just drinking from it, I guess. Oop, have to cross over here to see these guys. These are the dachshunds of the ocean, sea otters, or the dachshunds of the sea. They look like dachshunds, they're cute. I wanna take them home with me. All right, we're going into Pioneer Place. This is where the Louis Vuitton is. Beautiful tree. There's the Louis, We've caught a sneak peek. And here's the mall. It's just a square block. Um, it appears to be, let's count, one, two, three floors of stores. Oh, there's a Saint Laurent. It's so a J. Crew. I don't shop there. There's the Gucci and the Louis Vuitton. Apparently, this is the back of it. So it continues all the way up here. I was about to say the store is a lot smaller than mine at the Galleria, and I think it is, but that's a cool display. It's all Legos. You sell. That's pretty cool. And the Damier pattern here is the Gucci. There's a golden goose to me. So there's not a whole lot to this place compared to what I'm used to, but they have the important stuff. I have discovered something. There are underground tunnels to other blocks with other shopping. At least I assume that's what that is. Was right they are shopping tunnels I'm not going to film inside Louis Vuitton but here's a peek through the windows so you can see what it looks like the women's department is on this side of the store yeah shoes and ready to wear and they have most of the view blocked here with the clothes but here's a little bit with scarves you can see some perfume bags oh man I'm gonna have to look into these boots Seriously, I'm gonna need something like that up here. I had my Uggs on yesterday in the rain and they got soaked. I picked up a little something from Louis Vuitton, so I'll show you that in another video. Very excited about it. Wasn't planning on buying it for this year, but I love the new design. It gives you a little clue. Well, I'm done shopping for today. I'm gonna head back to the hotel. We're gonna explore Portland, look at apartments. Then we're driving up to Seattle tonight to head back home and start filming Vlogmas. I hope you're enjoying it so far. And now it's advent calendar time. We are here for day 21 and the joy it brings. Oh, that's a big one. That's really stuck in there. Well, I accidentally ripped the door off the one above it and that was very helpful. Here's the chocolate. Oh, that one's good. There's the inside. It's got the cookie and it tastes like some caramel. Yum. Tony's chocolate calendar day 21. Get that open. What could this be? Dark milk. 42%. As I recall, the last dark milk I had was pretty good. Hey, little rain dog. 
It's time for the jewelry calendar. We're on day number nine and I have a confession to make. When I first got this calendar, I opened every box without you. So I know everything that's in the calendar already. I don't remember what's in what days all the time, but I do know what's in the boxes. And this box is perhaps the most disappointing item in the entire calendar because it's a $400 jewelry calendar. And in this box, they gave me a scrunchie, a scrunchie. That's right a scrunchie in a jewelry calendar box. Now, to be fair, I went back and checked on their website and it does say jewelry and other items or something like that, maybe other accessories. I don't remember the exact language, but it didn't say that it was 100% jewelry. Here's the label on it in case you're interested. I found this on the website and they charge $15 for it. And it's pink in a shade of pink that I will never wear. So I'm not happy about that. Also not happy with the quality of a lot of the pieces in this calendar. As you know. And spoiler alert, I know it's in the rest of the three boxes that are left. None of them are good. All right, the dogs have joined us and it's time for the advent calendars. Reindeer cookies. Baron's ready. Also, Paul very kindly just brought me a Manhattan. He made it himself. He's been reading the Bourbon Bible that Jill in New Orleans gave me. You guys saw me open that the other day. He's just been going through it page by page and he's fascinated with it and really enjoying it and learning a lot about bourbon. I haven't had a chance to read it yet, but he wanted to try a recipe. So he made me a Manhattan. I like Manhattans. Here you go, Roxy. There you go, Baron. Get it. Whoops, not quite. And door number two. Oh, oh, <gasps> Baron, she got your cookie. I guess you get both of these. Baron, good boy. Roxy, watch this. Wait. Nope, nope. Watch this. Baron, <gasps> what happened? Did he eat your cookie? Nope, you ate his. There are consequences to your actions, Roxy. We're gonna have to rearrange a few things here to get to box 21 for Vincent. And I guess we'll have to rearrange again tomorrow. Box 21 has bunny rabbits. Do you guys like bunny rabbits? Hello, someone is swinging again, huh? Enjoying your entertainment. I have a box for you. Box 21, it's going right on your shelf. What are you trying to do? Trying to get me? You're a silly bird. We say that every day, don't we? That's because you're silly every day. Look at you. You having fun? She loves to swing. It's one of her favorite things. Swinging and peanuts. I think this is all we're going to get from her tonight. Bye, Vincent. Bye, Vincent. Ah. Bye. 